You're watching News 360. Let's now turn to our mission segment, which is brought to you by Star Ghana with support from UK Aid, Danida, and the European Union. In mission this evening, access to the Disability Common Fund in the Kweu Afran Plains district of the eastern region is not easy. Stanley Niblo reports that those who have benefited from the fund are yet to see improvement in their living standards. The 1992 Constitution of Ghana makes provision for the establishment of the District Assembly's Common Fund, which obligates Parliament to annually make provision of not less than 5% of the total revenue of Ghana to the District Assemblies for development. The allocation is made quarterly into the District Assembly's Common Fund, of which 3% is committed to persons living with disability fund which aims at reducing poverty among all PWDs, particularly those outside the former sector of employment. The passage of the Persons with Disability Act 2006, Act 715, which reinforces the constitutional provision, has been welcomed in Ghana's human rights discourse due to the essential relief it provides beneficiaries. However, the fund is not easily accessible, especially in the Kweu Afran Plains North District of the Eastern Region. There are more than 600 identified persons living with disability in the district, but the fund has not benefited many of them. Last year, for instance, only 43 persons benefited from the fund, leaving many not served. District Chief Executive for Kweu Afran Plains North, Samuel Kena explains why. For a quarter, Maybe what will come will be about 30,000. Is it 30,000? Cannot. So maybe in a year, we'll put all, maybe and normally, even though it is supposed to be four quarters, but per the financial administration law, three quarters will come and then the fourth quarter will come the four years. So we put all those monies together and then we, we do it. The selection criteria for beneficiaries has been questioned by many PWDs, but District Head of Social Welfare and Community Development at Kweu Afran Plains North said due process is followed in the disbursement of funds. When somebody applies, the committee sits down to do an assessment of the application. So where we are not convinced, we send a team out to go and meet the person with disability and ask, you wrote for A, B, C. Which one is the most urgent that you think when we do for you, it will enable you to become self-dependent? Some persons living with disability claim to have been relegated to the background. They lamented that persistent attempts to get them registered have not been successful. The district assembly insisted I write a letter to officially apply for the fund, which I did, but I was later told my letter was missing, so I could not assess the fund. The 3% of persons with disability fund, I'm told, serves three purposes. We have 80% of the fund going to uh, empowering PWDs. We have 10% going into health and then 10% going to education. So it's not all into self-empowerment. Ajibu is a popular carpenter at Donko Chrome and has one apprentice. Both the master and his apprentice are all living with hearing and speech impairments. Their inability to assess the fund is taking a toll on their business. Ajibu and his apprentice have both applied for the fund not less than three times. However, their names have not been captured. Ajibu tells the mission team he has plans to expand the carpentry work and also provide skills to more interested persons living with disability. But this is yet to be realized. Disability, they say, is not inability. And so, Ajibu and his apprentice are striving to make ends meet 
through the carpentry work in spite of their conditions. They believe assessing the disability common fund would improve their lives. Ajibu's biological mother has assisted her son in all three attempts to get him captured, but the constant denial has frustrated her efforts. I've tried several times for, for, for him, but he couldn't succeed. And even the director, the director is my best friend, so I've been consulting him all the times. But he also told me they haven't released the money to him, so that's why uh, he couldn't help him. So I stopped going there. Delay by central government in releasing the district assembly's common fund has also been another hindrance to beneficiaries. Once we have funds, we can do it. If the quarterly allocation or releases has not come, we can't do anything. Yes, because we use the uh, share of the fund to support them. Like the two carpenters, there are several other persons living with disability who equally need help. Physical cash is no more given to beneficiaries. Unlike previous years, where money's physical cash were disbursed to the beneficiaries, that is, people with disabilities. This government is saying, no, why don't we give them something that will keep them in business so that maybe after some time, they will no longer come out to the streets begging. So he taxed all these assemblies not to give out fiscal cash. Those who have been fortunate to assess the funds are yet to derive benefit from it. Raymond Delawanu and Malik Nuhu are two of the 43 beneficiaries. They received a photocopier each with the purpose of establishing a business center for themselves. They are both cash strapped and so the photocopiers have not been put to use. It's only the, the, the photocopier that I had. Uh, the computer attached to it, no. So now before I'm preparing to get something small to, to buy the computers and uh, start my uh, business. If I also get uh, more computers, my plan is to train my colleague disabled to also come computer literates so that they can also be able to do something on their own. Malik Nuhu's biological mother is also visually impaired, but not a beneficiary of any of the social intervention programs, making life in the family difficult. Frustrated PWDs with complex disability rarely have their concerns tabled before the district chief executive because the office is not easily accessible. This is all the public institutions. You go there and uh, I don't know if your office is not on top, you are not big man or hot. I don't understand because let's take it that if I have something to discuss with the DC now one on one, it will be a hassle to get him. Section 6 of the Persons with Disability Act 2006, Act 715, holds that the owner or occupier of a place to which the public has access shall provide appropriate facilities that make the place accessible and available for use by a person with disability. However, the Kweu Afram Plains North District Assembly, like other public facilities, have not heeded to the provision in the Act and needed to be looked at. Stanley Niblu, TV3 News, Donko Krum, Kweu Afram Plains North, Eastern Region. Well, clearly a very, very worrying situation there. You can get more stories on persons with disability on our website. It's 3news.com. And that does it for our mission segment this evening. It's brought to you by Star Ghana with support from UK Aid, Danida and the European Union. Over to you, Alfred. Thank you, Natalie.